So the question of the day, it's leg day. And the question is, how hard do you push yourself when you think you can't do anymore? Do you stop? She's like, oh my God, this hurts. And this is exhausting. I'm at the Santa Monica stairs, the top. Santa Monica stairs and I didn't do as many as I uh, as I wanted to but I did more than I thought I was going to and something really interesting came up oh shit um, that I thought I would share fear <laughs> what I mean by that is do you ever have fear of like, like what if you push your body too hard? What's gonna happen to your body? It puts up with a lot <laughs> that we do to it. It's put up with a lot for me, that's for sure. Um, and a lot of things that I haven't been doing for it and to it, you know? Morning. Morning. And um, people are nice in LA. <laughs> point is I had this story come up this, and this thing that happened when I was really young I think I was nine and I got my dad taught me how to drive in a go-kart <laughs> and uh, and what happened when I was nine it was uh, it was a shifter carts and so the brake pedal and the gas pedal had a little hook on the pedal. And I'm on the straightway. And normally you gun it on the straightway and then you brake super hard on a corner. For those of you that don't know. You brake super hard on the corner so then you can take the corner and then you come, you gas it when you come out of the corner. So I was on the straightway and I gunned it. What happened was my pant leg unhooked the cord to the gas pedal and the brake pedal. Don't ask me how it happened. I have no idea. And so I'm like right after I gunned it. So I had enough gas to gun it and then I'm going into the corner and I have no brakes. <laughs> and I completely spin out. I don't remember how many times I actually spun around and it's really hard to flip a go-kart. So I'm not saying that it flipped, but I spun all the way around and hit all the tires on the side. Freaked me out. Completely freaked out. I'm nine. I'm nine years old. Completely spun out on a go-kart. No control of the vehicle, no, no control, no nothing. In this thing that I'm supposed to be maneuvering. <laughs> and then I'm no longer maneuvering it because it won't work. And I went up to my dad and I'm just like, like shell shocked and I'm panting and I'm, again, I'm freaked out. And my mom is standing there and of course she goes into mother mode and she's like, she's like, okay, you, you can get out, you can get out, you know, take off your helmet, just take a deep breath, you know, and whatever. My dad turns to me and says, no, put your helmet back on. Get back in the go-kart, go again. And I was like, I was like, um, for a second I looked at him and he was absolutely nuts. And he said, after the fact, after he made me get in the car, go car, I got in, I got in, I went around. I went around until I wasn't freaked out anymore. But he came up to me afterwards and he said, do you know why I made you get in the car? And I said, no, I have no idea at all. <laughs> Mom said I didn't have to go and you made me get in. And I was upset and I was crying. I was nine. And, uh, and he said, I made you get in, I made you get back in because if I didn't, you would have been afraid of that for the rest of your life. And you wouldn't have pushed yourself to go one more time knowing that you can overcome whatever your fear is. And you have all the ability in the world to overcome anything if you actually just get back in the go-kart and go again. So tying this whole thing in, 
long story short, 10 minute, 45 second short, <laughs> I, I'm going up and down the stairs and I had this like fear come up where, oh my God, what if my body shuts down? My legs hurt, I can't breathe. And I have another fear of that, which will be a different story for another time. Um, but this like thought of like, oh my God, am I gonna die? actually came up legitimately sentence full on in my head there's an ant crawling on my foot I mentioned women have ADD um, <laughs> so it just made me think of that story where I literally for that moment I had two choices and I said okay I'm either gonna give into this fear or I'm gonna take a deep breath and compose myself again, make sure I don't pass out, make sure I'm not gonna have a panic attack, and tell myself that I'm gonna get back in the go-kart and I'm gonna go one more time. And I did, and I'm still alive. But now I'm gonna go get a smoothie. So, many blessings, much love, and whatever it is that you're completely afraid to do, whatever your sentence is in your brain, just a friendly little reminder you're not gonna die. And you can tell your body and your mind that you can do absolutely anything if you just get back in the go-kart and go one more time and win the race. Love, blessings, have a badass day.